Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and today we're we'll looking into how we actually can manage multiple level of projects in SQL Accounting. So to do this, first we need to make sure that we have to name our projects in a systematic manner. So how we actually can do it in SQL Accounting? Come here to Tools here, come here to Maintain Project, click here, and then what happens is if you can look at C here, we already have named our projects in a certain manner. All right. So the first three digits is your project, so PTO, 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 and then the next one is your sub project, W1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, same, P13 and W1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's say how we actually want to create uh, different levels. So first of all, we need to select one project first, so it's an edit here. So we've got a blank space here, what we do is we right click here and we press show range editor. All right, so from range editor, right now we can see first three characters. Is your main project second two is number four and number five is your sub project all right so once we have just set this we just press ok and then we press save okay so that's how we actually can set multiple group of pricing so to do that of course every transaction that you have key in say example i key in the invoice right now so we press new and then here we actually can select your customer say it here we can press plus here and then we can select your item code okay so let's say we're selling this item all right so here we have one column called project and this is also available in every single screen in sql accounting so here from here we can just select so let's say this p13 and here we can say okay this is set 500 ringgit all right so done we just press save all right so now let's say how we want to look at the different project levels so one of the reports that we always use is your PL. So we come to GL here, we come to reports, we come to profit and loss report. Okay. So let's say for example, we want to just select on a project by project level or one project at a time, then we just need to select from here. If for example, we want to do comparison, so let's say I want to do a comparison for a two-year column and we want to compare a few projects. So here we have one called print project comparison. Click here. Then here we have one called projects. So you can see now, right, we have multiple levels, project and sub project. So when we press plus here, we can just see the details. And if we press plus here, we can see the details. So let's say for example, now I just want at highest level, P12 and P13, I press add here. The system will then add for me the project on the P12 and P13 level. And once we are done, we just press apply. The system will then generate your profit and loss on a P12 and P13 level. All right. So this is actually how we actually can manage multiple level projects in SQL accounting. So do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides to help you with your accounting system. Thank you.